Bando down there by Wakasu. Let's watch it again. And of course, probably a painful one for him, Nicolas Ajay. And for Mubarak Wakasu, he had played 14 times for his club and scored two goals. And Koja Samwa, a uh, Juventus player, also warming up. We see more of the players trying to come out of the dugout to prepare. Ten boy. Makasu. Trevor Schlupp now. Yeah, Ten boy. Rabiu Mohamed. Uh, and Fiyakwa playing a very tight in midfield. But Fiyakwa now. Rabiu Mohamed. Mohamed Taduma. Drops the ball down to Majid Boris. Up for the centre line. Christian Achu with his pace on the left. And of course, he wins the corner kick here. You know, we've seen very little of Abdul Majid Waris Achu trying to cut in, you know, from the right where he's operating alongside Harrison Apple. And you know, Harrison Apple played the qualifiers as a left back, even at the Nations Cup, but it looks like he will now be starting as a right back. That is, if this game is anything to go by with Jeffrey Schlup operating from the left wing or left wing as a left wing back. Nicholas Oje playing for Bacham yeah? United. And this is uh, a view, Mohammed. He's just scored a goal for his club in 10 competitions. Wakasu again for a free kick. Wakasu, well, going for a dummy, trying to <laughs> get everybody away. Wakasu again drops it and well dealt with. That was too poor. Well, I should tell Leonu here. Trying to go very strong. Could be a goal here for the dream team. And then sliding tackle come here. Appeal for a penalty. And that will not be taken. Rabiu Mohamed do well to get the ball away. And I should tell Leonu, very disappointed I was not given a penalty. But for me, it was a legal sliding tackle. Not a penalty, in my opinion. You know, I, I just, I can't comment on it unless I see the playback. It looks very close, but there's the Black Stars again turning on the attacking machine. Majid Waris can make it for the Black Stars, and oh, sweeping across the face of goal. That would not count for a stage goal. What a swift counter attack, end to end action. It was a dream 11 that had a chance to score. A slightly tackle coming in from Rabiu Mohamed, denying Ashitio Leno a chance. And of course, Majid Waris also missing. You no, know, Waris was just a shoe size you know late that was very very close for goal number six but i love the way they made the most out of you know that occasion calamitous defending at the back but then they did well to recover needs challenge and the fans you know <laughs> yes stood up pointing to the penalty spots calling for you know penalty for the dream 11 but the world deserved pressure yeah, you know, what is a you know call from the fans with a sort of pressure that the Dream Eleven are now piling on the Black Stars. Albert Aduma. Aduma again. Aduma again. And, uh, yeah. I think Aduma made things complex for himself. You know, he could have released somebody and waited for a pass. Yeah, I think he's enjoying Olenu. himself, Ashito Olenu, the House of Oak man. Achu, Warish now. 
Definitely. Well, it's Ronaldo cutting here to the right. And well dealt with brilliantly here by Joseph Lowe. Oh, Harris Napo knows how to get away from his marker. And Joseph Lowe again. Not in hurry at all to get the ball away. You know, neatly, the Dream 11 also responding well with some neat play. Nicolas Oje, the Tema Youth man, cutting in. And Dream 11 gradually building on their confidence, Benjamin. Definitely, and that's the reason they get all the support from the fans here. And Jeffrey Schlub does a good job to recover quickly. And this man, Fatal Dauda, has to come out and make some saves for his uh, team, Mubarak Wakasu, Rabi Mohammed. Morris. Abed Taduma cuts in here. And of course, just can't get the connection down right. The free Aqua. And trying to wait for some little men inside the 80 yard box. Wakasu. Wakasu! Always rising. But I wanted to connect it. What is powerful left foot? His first game in front of the fans, Jeffrey Schlock. I think I'll give him 50%. You know, did well, committed less, you know, mistakes. I was expecting to see more rounds from him. But then his substitute, you know, experience. And so Vital Dada had to come out to make sure that Bright Ajay never got to this ball. And then Ashitole you know, tried as much as possible to return that one. And then it was Rabiu Muhammad. That is not a penalty with one. He no. got the ball. And of course, it has happened that Majid Waris nearly got the Cisco here. Oh, sweeping ball across the face of goal. So, so, so close. And that will be painful. But he did well with that timely clearance. Vital Dada. Talk about whether he will still be Ghana's number one. You know, at the World Cup, he's definitely got a lot of work to do. The former Ashanti Gold, Glossman, only three appearances for Orlando Paris. Abdul Latif has come on here. Two Tema youth players on the pitch now with one Abdul Latif and of course Nicolas Oje. You know, they, they couldn't qualify to the Premier League. Uh, beaten in the playoffs, but they would like to stage another attempt and come back. That's next season. And Daniel Parry is now in. And he's going to play as right back. Harrison Apple, you know, has been moved to the left back position. So still experimentation there from the two men there. Chrissy Api on your left and Max Okunedu, his assistant, on your right. Alongside Professor Chrissy Minta, who is just seated close to Chrissy Api. And he is the team's psychologist, former coach of Ibushu Adolfs. Here. And there they go. That's the Dream 11. A bit of showboating. And they won. You know, a throw in for that effort. Brighter J. You know, pushing up. 
for the Dream 11 side. 22 minutes left now for the Black Stars to continue to hold on to the fit five goals that they have here. So Shidali Muntari now will get a chance to play a part in this game. Muntari, five goals for AC Milan, having 20 games. And if Fiaqua will give way for Shidali Muntari. And the Parma Looney is coming off. Shidali Muntari, you know, one of the players who will be making a third straight. World Cup appearance is on now, the AC Milan man. Well, of course, you're looking at uh, Christian Pia here, head coach of the Black Stars. Good one. So basically, if you look at the players they've scored who have been called up 26 for Tao Dauda Adam Karasi he's not playing a part he'll be moving to Norway tonight Stephen Adams now kept the post for the first uh, half Samuel Okum is there Daniel Opari has been invited and of course so we're looking at Harrison Apple for his friends he's played a real game for them Jeffrey Schlupp John Boy Jonathan Mensah these are players who definitely want to go to the World Cup. Jerry Akameko is equally there. No, this and will be his course, first Rashid time. Yeah. Yeah, Rashid also chasing it. He is the weak league winner with Mamelodi Sundowns in South Africa. And of course, this is where the point is. Michael Asian, the experienced Michael Asian, Sudali Munchari, Rabiut Mohammed playing currently. In this uh, friendly game, we have uh, Koja Samwa. The Juventus man won a scudetto with them. Now we have Emmanuel Ajiman Bedu played a wonderful game this season for Unese. A free out quite a power man, very, very energetic. Christian Achu, and of course, you definitely have uh, Albert Aduma. Meanwhile, this man, Andre de Ayu, has been invited. He's going to play a part in tonight's game. Mubarak Wakas, you equally there. You know, and the strikers, Asamwajan, the Al Ayn man, the captain of the side, Kevin Prince Watson, also from Shaka Ofo, has been excused to stay away. Abdul Majid Waris is on the pitch. Jordan Ayu also played and scored in the first half of this game. And David Akam from Helsingborg in Sweden. The question is which players, three players, will be dropped? You know, so on we see Kojoa Samoa, the Scudetto winner with Juventus, second time in a row for him, the third for Juve. And Andre, the lover boy, poster boy. You know, the last World Cup, you know, had you know, a successful campaign and he's replaced hat-trick hero, Christian Achu. And so the Black Stars, obviously, after today's game, would have to move straight to the Netherlands for the continuation of their training. And of course, they're going to play a friendly game with them before moving straight to Miami to continue with their preparation with one and that to be a friendly against South Korea on June 9th and then they fly over to Brazil that's on June 11th Oleno uh, and that's the tackle on John Boy and he's been talked to to take his time that was Ashite racing for it no, i don't think there was anything cynical about it it wasn't a savage tackle from oleno ashite but assistant one as malik saw something wrong with it and of course the flares will go in here from michigan and this one to take things very calm and of course you know that the excitement will be on they have the flesh i remember when the egyptian team came to kumasi and had the flares on it became an, is an issue in kumasi and now these fans in excitement, they definitely have their players on. Yeah, it is unlike Ghana. And there you go, something traditional and cultural. And that is it. And the fans there will acknowledge the sponsors, official or headline sponsors of the Black Stars, GMPC. A parry trying to cut in. Andre, there are you. 
And of course, watch the black stars of Paris ball. And Fibri taking. And of course, you know that uh, you have uh, Chester Flower doing a good job at the back together with Lawrence Latte. With one. Yeah, they play together at under 20 level at the World Cup in Turkey. And they helped Ghana to win bronze, so they're familiar. And they know the sort of communication that will exist between them to ensure that they keep a clean sheet. And so far, they've been able to do that. And Lawrence Latte will come in as a captain. Wakasu wins it for the Black Stars. Sule Ali Montari. Sule Ali! Trademark effort from the AC Milan man. But just couldn't find the back of the net. Nice attempt from Montari. Experience. You know, player there scored, you know, at the World Cup in the game against Uruguay, but that was leveled up. And then to penalty shootouts where the Blasters lost, you know, powerful one. You know, Sule, he looks sharper for me, you know, in this game. View Mohammed. And of course, up Harry. Trying to go for a bit of a cracker here. Majid Waris. Majid Waris. Still cutting in. Harrison Apple. Trying to look for space. But the Black Stars. Again, looking for the sit goal, could just somewhere here. Harris Napo. That was a powerful volley. And way off target. And the fans enjoying it, every, every bit of it. The last time we saw such, you know, fans in resplendent colors was at the 2008, you know, Cup of Nations hosted by Ghana. Been wonderful being here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Now the dream team may have a chance to pull one back. But Tadada, well, God's been scored. Penalty given. The goal wouldn't count. But this one will be a penalty for Bratta J. What a way to get a constellation. Well, I think it was a late call from the referee, Joseph Lamte. And again, well, for Tadada came out of his line and eventually had to foul Bratta J. Even though the resultant goal, a ball was actually in the net, it's not been given. And just watch him. Trying to whip up a few thousand for the fans. Right to Jay against Fatal Dauda. This will be a well-deserved consolation goal. Right to Jay Dauda. And he does it. Bottom corner. Consolation for the Dream 11. When I saw it coming, they worked hard, and this fan looks stunned. Right to Jay. You know, ever since coming on, he's been causing troubles. He came close on a couple of occasions, won the, the penalty, and then beat Patao Dauda. The Orlando Paris man has been beaten 5 1. And this was it. The tackle, you know, it looked very, very soft. But then it was awarded, and that was it. What is right foot? sent it with Patao Dada sent the other way Brighter Jane has scored and this will be like <laughs> the equalizer and so definitely with exactly uh, some minutes to go the Black Stars 5 Dream Team 1 and of course you obviously know that they have to do better and you know that uh, they just had 10 minutes to end the game. The Dream Team have done a good job by pulling one back. And again, there's another foul here, cynical one. And Chateau Ledo has been very impressive ever since he was introduced into the game. Now it looks like this Dream 11 setup is the strongest 
with Oluidun Ashite, a bit of experience there. And that was it. You know, a bit of um, you know, body works there coming in from Harrison Apollo on Osh uh, Oshay, uh, uh, Ole and Ashite and then the referee Joseph Lamte had to whistle for you know an infringement. Free kick taking a header comes in. And this one goes straight to goalkeeper. That's out out up. And watch him again. Just couldn't get the ball away for Tao. Looks very, very jittery and you know you can understand right a lot of talk about his inclusion and also whether he will remain Ghana's number one you know seeing limited playing opportunities you know in the PSL with Orlando Pirates he's definitely going to be nervous and it's turning out to be it's good that he's played in this game you know so that you know in the other matches you know he would have warmed up and then ready for the tax ahead Brazil is a target don't forget with nine minutes to go, Asamoah Jan will come out there and prove why he scored 29 goals for RN. And obviously, want to prove to the fans that he's only not a footballer, but he's a good musician as well. You know, he scored more than 29, I mean, in total. And 10 in the Asian Champions League and also top scorer. You know, so as Awajan will be coming on squad more than 29 goals, Benjamin. You know, 10 in Asian Champions League and also top scorer. But, but definitely, in the if, present a, cup. If, if he scored 29 goals for his team and he's the, the leading goal scorer for the Black Stars, it means that coming on, he, he has something better to prove. And the fans will love to have him here. Remember, anytime as Awajan is on the pitch, you know his combination with Kashu is always there. They won an award at the Ghana Music Club Awards uh, ceremony here in Accra. So Asamoah Jan has been doing things right off the pitch and on, on the pitch well. You know, I hope he does it and gets it right at the World Cup. That's where we'll need his services badly. Wintari. Kuja Samoa. Andrea Yu. Still trying to cut in. Kuja Samoa here. Andre Ayu, combining effectively with uh, Silali Muntari and the left now. Swings one in, and uh, Robert Dabo will have a catch. No easy catch there, and the, the eagle eyes of the two technical men will watch, and that's the Black Stars fixtures live on your World of Champions against United States on June 16, also Germany coming up on June 21, and then the final game against Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal on June 26 all matches live on your world of champions super sports and they will not be overruled there by the mighty Cristiano Ronaldo according to Asamoah Jan well, the time has come for Asamoah Jan to make a mark here the captain's unbound will definitely go straight to Asamoah Jan sign of respect now and uh, just watch this man. He's simply relaxed. And doesn't want to put himself in any unnecessary trouble at all. It's Majid Waris. Will keep waiting for Samoa Chan. Takes the captain's unbound from John Boy. He certainly is a man to respect in the Black Stars team. Well, he's proven it, you know, two World Cups. And then he's been able to score. It looks like he will score again. You know, for me, I think he was, his services will be needed greatly there in, in Brazil. So, I mean, how many goals, you know, still counting, he broke the 100 goal mark at Al Ain in three seasons. That's this time. He's in top form. Dream Team trying to move further. Well, that's another poor display. So the provisional score here for the Black Star, 26 players scored out by Coach Mark Steven. Christian uh, Pia, and then for Max Okonedu, he has given up here to back him. 
of course, going to give them the necessary inspiration. It's much of an excitement to have them here. Oh, lovely play here. And Ashito Leno will have to lose it out. But Tao Daudo, he tried to get the ball in. Did they are you? We just somewhat. You know, for once, it looked like a wrestling contest. You know, in the Isamumuni. Boy, he had a quiet game. Save it, did you now? Deep in midfield, Rabbi Mohammed. Put you somewhere. Didn't really play much for uh, AC Milan. Not seen many games for them, but Muntari got five goals. 20 games he played for AC Milan, Larry Latte. Some of our stars go to Robert Dabo now with Ashanti Gold. Quickly, Asamoah Jan. He announced his presence. Asamoah Jan! Let me once again say that you know this set of players by the Dream Eleven is the best. Or it's better than what we saw in the first half. At least they are weaving, you know, some pretty patterns, right? And again, John Boy will give out a nasty free kick on Bright AJ. So it's turning out to be a difficult customer for the defenders, Bright AJ won the penalty kick and converted himself to give the Dream 11 a, the, the consolation, the much needed consolation. And that was a tackle again. AJ was brought down heavily. Okay, taken here. Not too far from the Dream team. All we're doing is better to win possession. Was already out of play. Two minutes to end the game here is the Black Stars who lead by five goals to one. Patrick from Christina Chu, Albert Adamaja, Nayu scoring, and Brighton Jay doing well to go to score. for that ball but obviously can't get to it Andrea you or twist and turn get the ball to just somewhat and of course Montari will lose it out she told Leno and Brett J coming a mouthful here for the Black Stars Gotten impeded. Uh, Joseph Lamptey sees that one to be a legal challenge. Rabbi Mohammed. Andre Ayu. And Asamoah can't get to the ball. You know, and trust Atamalawe to do a good job at the back. And Rafi Lamptey says AJ, you know, couldn't keep that one in play. The ball rolled over the touchline, went up over the touchline. The throw in quickly taken by the Black Stars. Rabiu Mohammed, Sulali Muntari, and of course Mubarak Wakasu for space. He gets it. Andre Ayu. Well, again, trying to keep up momentum. Asamoah Jan. Jan! And uh, this time. Just uh, moving wide. You know, just didn't get, you know, the correct opening for him to slam in. 
but a nice attacking move from the Blasters trying to, you know, break down the defenders of the Dream 11. Well, fans piling out of the stadium after seeing the Black Stars lead by five goals to one. Five minutes of additional time with what we're doing in this game. Lots of the fans are already piling out because they know that the Black Stars have just done it and they're not in, in a hurry at all. <laughs> 